Hi, I'm Monica Healy. Welcome to Pregnancy Chat. We get a lot of questions about amniotic fluid, so today I, I want to help answer those questions and tell you all about the importance of amniotic fluid during your pregnancy. So let's get started. Amniotic fluid is a clear, slightly yellowish liquid that surrounds your unborn baby during pregnancy. This fluid consists of vital carbohydrates, electrolytes, proteins and fats, all of which ensures the health, well-being and development of baby. This fluid also consists of fetal urine and tissue fluid from the placenta and baby's lungs. Your baby begins to urinate and swallow somewhere between 8 and 11 weeks and late in pregnancy can swallow up to 800 milliliters, about this much, of fluid a day, mostly when baby practices fetal breathing. This amniotic fluid is contained within the amniotic sac, the structure that baby is held and lives in within your womb. This fluid, or lycor amni, as it is sometimes referred to, is maintained at a constant temperature to protect your baby from heat loss. Your baby's temperature is slightly higher than yours. This fluid allows your baby the freedom to move around. Moving around helps proper bone and nerve development, allows baby to exercise her muscles and allows baby's body and face to grow symmetrically as the fluid equalizes pressure from the sides of the womb. This fluid also acts as a shock absorber to protect your baby from the outside knocks and bumps. Amniotic fluid is also very important for proper lung development. Although your baby uh, obtains all the oxygen and nutrients he needs from the placenta until birth, the lungs must be able to float and bathe in amniotic fluid in order to expand and develop optimally in preparation for breathing after birth outside the womb. The amount of amniotic fluid is quite small during the first trimester and reaches its greatest volume at around 34 weeks when it averages about 900 milliliters. But it starts to decrease as you get closer to delivery. Did you know that a woman's diet can have a significant impact on the taste of amniotic fluid for the baby? The flavor of this fluid can change from day to day, especially if the mother has consumed anything with a strong taste. The amount of fluids you drink during your pregnancy can affect the amount of amniotic fluid also, so make sure to keep well hydrated. The amniotic fluid is constantly circulating around the baby. This fluid is absorbed continuously and replaced approximately every three hours. That's amazing, isn't it? How the amniotic fluid is kept at a normal level is not entirely clear. What we do know is that the fluid is reabsorbed by passing through the amniotic and chorionic sacs that baby lives in, and then it passes through uh, the, to the uterine blood vessels back into mother's circulation. Some of the fluid seeps through the umbilical cord and some is swallowed by the baby and then absorbed into the intestine and lungs. Baby swallows and inhales the fluid and releases or exhales the fluid back into the sac. The amount of amniotic fluid present during your pregnancy can give you and your doctor or midwife a good indication of the health of the pregnancy. An excessive amount of amniotic fluid called polyhydramnios is a condition that can, can occur with multiple pregnancies, twins or triplets, or a baby with a congenital abnormality or in a baby with an abnormal digestive system because remember, baby needs to be swallowing the fluid. It may also be increased if mom develops gestational diabetes. An abnormally small amount of amniotic fluid is known as oligohydramnios. This condition may occur with, with late pregnancies, ruptured membranes, that means when the amniotic sac, it can develop a leak, or it can also happen if the placenta is not functioning properly and be a sign that the kidneys did not develop as expected because the kidneys excrete urine. So basically abnormal amounts of amniotic fluid may signal a problem, but this is not always the case. Abnormal amounts of amniotic fluid may cause your healthcare provider to monitor your pregnancy more carefully and may order more bed rest. 
Sometimes we need to take a sample of the amniotic fluid uh, through a procedure called amniocentesis and it can, can provide like a lot of information about the health of your baby. This is done by inserting a, a thin needle into mum's abdomen and goes through the uterine wall and reaches and takes a very small sample of the amniotic fluid. Then it's examined in a laboratory. I'll talk a lot more about amniocentesis in a different video. So I hope that this helps answer some of your questions about amniotic fluid. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask us in the forums and we'll do our best to help out. Until next time, enjoy this pregnancy journey of yours. These are the precious moments our lives are made of. Until next time, I'm Monica Healy and thank you for watching.